Hey everyone, AquaTwist or Zach here. So today I wanted to react to the 10 minute gameplay trailer uh, for Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, for those who don't know, Breath of the Wild is like one of my favorite games of all time, even though I haven't played in a while. Uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to it. Um, I got the the pin of the game uh, from PAX East, which I'll probably be making a video about soon. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to bring it up. Uh, so let me just go to the subscriptions. And all right, Tears of the Kingdom, Aonuma, or Mr. Aonuma gameplay demonstration. Let's Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. First, I have some news. Development on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. Let's go! Thank you very much for waiting. Many of you are looking forward to this game, and we've released a few trailers so far. All of them have been pretty Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today and show you what it's like. Okay? Let's begin. All right, let's see. Here we are, in the land of Hyrule. Like The Legend of Zelda okay. Breath of the Wild, there's a vast world to explore. Of course, it's not just the same world as is. It's changed in many ways. If we talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time, so we hope you'll seek them out for yourself when the game launches. Oh, so the UI is different then. In this game, the, the vast world of Hyrule like for just the relics. reaches high into the sky. You'll notice some land masses floating up there. We call them Sky Islands. You're probably wondering something. How do you get to the Sky Islands when they're so high up? If we take a look, oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? I wonder what that is. Let's head over to it. We're almost at the spot where the object fell. Here it is. Sounds like some new music. Okay, okay. let's right. use one of Link's new abilities. If you do this on the rock that just fell... Rewind. Ooh, okay. Look, it started that's, rising. Yo, okay, that's This power sick. is known as recall, which rewinds an object's movement. That's gonna Since be really I just used recall on the fallen rock, like I can now rise into the sky. We're a lot closer to the sky islands. Let's use the paraglider to reach one of them. Oh, you can literally just like go up there the land There are a few other sky, sky islands floating Holy here crap. too. I made it. There are oh, lots wow. of ways to reach the Sky Islands, oh, so we hope you'll try a few different okay. methods. Okay, now we're on a slightly bigger Sky Island. Just like on the surface, oh, wow. there are several man-made structures. Some trees really are also good. growing here. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. Yeah, UI-wise, most of the game Let's looks walk pretty around for a bit. which is to be expected. I wonder what the D-pad stuff on the left is then. I'm guessing you can like change weapons. There's a branch on the ground. When you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. Let's continue. I love Link's design in this game. It looks really cool. Oh, something's there. This is a brand new enemy called a construct. Nice. We'll fight it using the branch we just picked up. No. Ah, the branch uh, broke. Not good, back. not I'm good. So mad. Quick, I hated that in the get first another game. Branch I don't know why and... they brought it back. We defeated it. That's unfortunate. Moving on. Zonai, yep. So We've it is now explored that more of this Sky Island. Is this game. As expected, uh, fighting game. with just a branch won't get us very far. Also, this branch is almost broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here, and do this... Wait a minute. Look! We oh. can stick them together. We created oh, cool. a makeshift okay. hammer. This is called Fuse. fuse you can nice. stick objects together cool. to create new weapons with various effects. So I wonder, like, Let's are the take on another construct with this fused weapon. For the runes? We're dealing with two of them at once. We had both of them in this game. 
Because I remember Stasis being one in the trailers. Oh, we beat one. The weapon's attack has definitely improved. So I guess like if you have like the other branch low broke, durability, but this weapon like, has much better durability. You okay. can do all sorts of things by experimenting with the fuse ability. Yeah, that'll be like interesting to do. You can like, fuse two weapons, for example. I still feel like they could if we take this long durability. stick and fuse it with a pitchfork, <laughs> we can create a weapon with a much longer attack range. That's just a long stick. Very, very with this, we stick. don't have to get too close to enemies, and we can safely attack from a distance. You can also fuse arrows with materials in your inventory. For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. Oh, you can have custom arrows? Fuse an ice elemental material to an arrow and... Oh. You can freeze far away enemies. Okay, that's cool. So you don't have to just get ice arrows anymore. Very useful. You can useful. make them yourself. That's kind of cool. In addition... The material is more useful mm, then. Let's I see. Like that. Oh, there's a bird flying around. If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast-moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. So, at times like these, here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. He's gonna give you a scope. Fuse it to an arrow and... Look, oh, it's it a homed in arrow. on the target. Nice. That's cool. Let's try this on another bird. So is the whole game just pretty much just going to be like a greater sense of like exploration? Yeah, I'll just fire in that, that general direction. It's very simple. The world and UI look very Depending on what you stick together, though, the like fusibility could like also be beneficial for hunting. Time, so. I fused a mushroom to my shield. Now, you're probably wondering if this has any use. Well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Let's fight an enemy with this. Gonna, like, I blocked with the shield. Ooh, okay. Okay, so there's like, smoke, smoke now. Screen. Nice. The enemies lost sight of Link, so. So I wonder how much the attack. constructs are going to be like in this game. I'm assuming. Even if you struggle like with combat, enemies, enemies, you can like, take down enemies sky. using similar methods. We'll have to see. In the previous game, you'd usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful weapon. There are even more well, gameplay cool. options for sticking things together. I if you could Let me demonstrate. Sail, just make like a huge hammer. Some of the Sky Islands even have rivers. Oh. We'll want to cross this one, but swimming across it, well, the river's too wide for that. Oh, it's a new rune ability. We need a boat. Of course, there isn't anything that resembles a boat around here. You can make it with the logs. So, we'll lift up this log and attach it to a second log. Oh, that's pretty much like the magnet from the Let's first Let's do game. one more. Oh, We'll okay. bring this over here and attach a third log. So you can literally... Wait, that's how they made it's the a car in draft. Trailer, then. They used that ability. This is another new ability okay. called Ultra, Ultra Hand. Hand. Even though the logs are currently attached, so I they think can these are be the detached. The runes Let's modify the shape like of the raft. Versions of that. You can always attach things or detach them like this. Oh god, literally like Minecraft. <laughs> Almost like it. Just like build now, stuff. if we put this on the water, it's made of wood, so the buoyancy will keep it afloat. We've made a simplified version of a boat. Nice. However, it won't move in its current state, so we'll need something to propel it forward. Like a sail, which we saw earlier. Hmm. There's something here. Let's try hitting it. Oh. Oh, oh can use that. wind. It's blowing wind. I really like Looks the like we found a fan. Design in this game. Why don't we try attaching it? So you can rotate, and then just... Oh, sick. We'll attach another one. So you can literally, like, make this your own, This should make like, the boat well-balanced. I feel like this fits, like, the world pretty well, especially with, like, the ancient technology theme. Okay, they're attached. All right, let's try moving the boat. I feel like boat. the Sky Islands are probably going to be more interesting than the actual, like, land hey, areas. Hey, it's moving. We'll have to see. It's sailing pretty fast with the wind from the fans. Since we added two fans, we should be able to cross the river in no time. All right, we reached the other side. Another construct. Oh, did it just say that? In the most recent trailer, yep. we showed scenes of oh, Link yeah. riding a large that. car and oh, a flying machine. Oh, that's how they made that. 
Those vehicles actually aren't in the game from the start. Instead, you'll be able to freely craft them on your own. That's really cool. There are all sorts of objects you'll come across in this game. And depending on how you use your imagination, you can do a lot with them. That's really cool. So try crafting different things and explore this world at your leisure. Just like grab a bunch of logs and all that crap. There are even more new abilities. Take this building over here. Is this like... Okay, watch this. I think I know what's gonna happen. You could probably like... Look, I passed right through the ceiling. This new ability is called Ascend. Ascend? If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through... You can literally go through the ceilings? Holy crap. ...to the floor above you. Okay, that's pretty cool. There are some restrictions, but what's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. You can use it in like Hyrule Castle. For example, this place has a cave with a hill right above it. So you can just like go up If we use the ability here... Okay. Whoa. Come on. Keep going. You're literally swimming. Okay. We emerged at the top of the hill. In the previous game, you had to use stamina to climb a mountain. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way up. Here's That's another really example. Cool they have, like, Imagine you're stuck in a cage. If it's got a ceiling, you know what to do, right? Ascent. Exactly. So I'm wondering, oh, are these there's another construct. Like, from the start? It seems to be holding a strange weapon. Also, it's interesting that the some enemies are equipped with fused weapons, so three. battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. Or something like that. Uh, prior ah, to this. it or blew me away with wind. Before. We'll have to see. Looks like it's got some sort of fan. So you could probably steal the fan. Ah! Oh no! I got pushed off. Oh. oh well, let's just return to the surface. You can literally just. You can literally go to the surface. You can quickly descend from the sky to the surface the like this. That's crazy. It feels so good. In the Can't sky, you'll be able happening. to look out across the land. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. Once you've chosen your destination, you can speed things up. Like this. Oh my god, I remember like Lego Let's dive into this river. That's something like this. You could just fall from the sky. Let's go super fast. And we're back on the surface. Wow. That sounds like it would be frustrating though if like you're there are on still so many things I'd like to show you, you but let's leave it at that off. for now. But we'll see. Definitely again this game day one though. It looks really cool. What did you think? Some of Link's new abilities were updated from the previous game. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking, wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this too. In this game, you can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even possible. So it seems like they're taking There's still the a lot of new gameplay, mysteries, and encounters game, we couldn't like show really today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. That's all for today. Thank that's you it? for watching. Okay, that's kind of cool though, because it's like they didn't spoil like, oh, are we getting dungeons? Are we getting like, lot new stuff? It's just like, oh, here's some new gameplay stuff. Uh, but we still don't know about a lot about the game. But that's okay. Um, but yeah, uh, very excited. I wonder if the OLED's gonna happen. Um, like, that was like rumor and stuff. Wait, what's this? Oh my god, no way. I was just saying that. The leaks were real. The leaks were real. Nice. I already got my, um, like, two. But, you know, that's pretty cool. Honestly, I mean, that looks better than, like, the leaked renders and everything, but, eh, I don't know. Um, I would have to see it in person. I wish they sold the Joy-Con separately, though. Just, eh, not a big fan of color. It's real! Oh, it's coming out before, okay. That's probably why the game's coming out. Pro Controller? I have to get that then. That looks nice. I've been needing to get a new pro controller for a while now. Um, but yeah, no. Um, again, Tears of the Kingdom looks hype. Very excited for it. I'm glad the OLED's actually real, uh, even though it was like leaked months ago. Um, so yeah. Um, again, I'm probably gonna make like a Pax East like thoughts video, um, as you can see by the jacket. Uh, hopefully, end of the week. Um, and. 
uh, yeah, but let me know in the comments below what you thought of the presentation. Uh, are you excited for Tears of the Kingdom as well? Uh, are you still worried about how the game is going to be with how little they've shown us? Are you going to get the OLED? Uh, or are you just going to stick with your regular Switch? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Check out my other reactions and other videos. And subscribe if you want to see more. So yeah. Alright. Have a good day and take care. Bye.